Hi girls, today's video is going to be a na nail tutorial. Of course I messed up within like two seconds of recording. It's going to be a nail tutorial video that I recorded actually last week when I had my leopard print nails on and I had a lot of questions how I did it and stuff like that. And I was actually inspired by Lauren Conrad. I follow Lauren Conrad on Twitter. You guys all know who she is. And she posted a, or she tweeted a picture of her nails and I will put the picture right here. And I thought it was just like the cutest nail art ever and very, very easy to do. And if you're a beginner, this is like the perfect nail art tutorial for you because there's absolutely no way that you could mess up. So I hope you guys like the tutorial. And I didn't use like a creamy base like she did, but if you want to do it exactly like hers, then I would recommend using Barefoot in Barcelona by OPI. But I'm going to be using a metallic gold kind of um, color for my leopard nails and yeah I don't have it on anymore that was last week I recorded it so my nails are already changed I know it's crazy like it give it a thumbs up if you want to see more nail art tutorials and I'll talk to you after the tutorial if you're gonna to want to start with a base coat I recommend such feet um, crystal clear base coat but I am NOT going to actually put this on my nails because I'm bad um, and my nails are orange because I paint them so much but anyway for the base I'm using a China glaze um, it's just a gold foily color it's called passion um, it's really, really pretty. So any like foily metallic gold color would be very... You can really use any color that you want for the leopard nail. So I'm just going to apply two coats to every nail. I'll probably turn the camcorder off because you guys do not want to see me paint every single nail. But this color is perfect. And again, ignore my gross orange nails. And this polish is like almost empty, so probably wasn't the best choice for this tutorial. And I know a lot of people are going to say, why are my nails so orange? It's because I always paint them and I never use a base coat, so they're pretty stained from the darker polishes. Um, if your nails are like that, all you have to do is use a buffer, um, buff your nails, and that stain will come right off. That's what one coat looks like. I'm going to turn the camera off, paint my other hand, and do a second coat on both hands, and I will be right back. Okay, so I've done two coats now. For the animal print, you're going to want to actually get a nail art nail polish because they have the very thin tips. You don't want to use an, a regular nail polish. The tip looks like, so you can see it's very thin. And you just literally want to put just like white blobs on your nail. to make them in like little, like half C kind of shapes. Sorry, I don't have enough on my brush. Kind of like half C's. Just little blobs. You don't want to put too many on there because remember that you're going to be um, kind of tracing them with the black art pen. Oh, that one kind of looks like a heart. Yeah, make sure there's not too much on your brush. I'm going to do that on all of the nails get too much just kind of go over it bring it off but this is great because if you're a beginner if you're uncomfortable with doing you know nail art kind of stuff this is a great um, great one to start with so I'm going to finish my other hand and I'll be right back Okay, for the black, you literally just want to kind of trace around the white. There's absolutely no way you can mess up. The only way I would say someone could mess up on this is if you accidentally got a huge, um, you know, glob of the black on your nails. If you put too much on there. So you can absolutely not mess this up. You're just kind of tracing it, making little C shapes around the white. Let me get more on the brush. Just kind of hugging it. No 
rules whatsoever. That is why anyone can do this. You can even be really fast about it. Does not matter. So you can either just kind of trace, see how I've come to odd shapes here? You can either just kind of trace them like so. I have a little bit too much on here. You can just kind of make little C shapes around the white. Really anything goes. Okay, both my hands are now finished and I'm going to put on the top coat. You obviously want to wait for the um, animal print to dry. I'm using Sechvit to, um, Fast Top, what is it called? Dry Fast Top Coat. This is the best top coat. If you ever get bubbles on your nails or anything like that, switch to the Sechvit, um Top Coat because it's amazing. You're just going to put a little bit on. And even though we're applying top coat, try not to get it on your skin because um, if it dries on your skin, your nail polish will lift more easily. Because I know a lot of people think, you know, it's clear. You can just get messy with it. But I wouldn't recommend that if you really want your nail polish to stay for a while. And even though this um, nail tutorial, or this nail art, I should say, is so super quick. Um, obviously you're spending more time on it than if you were just painting your nails the gold. So you want it to last. So this is the finished result. I am completely completely done with my nails. I think it looks really cute. And it's super fast to do and easy. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. I hope you try it out. Let me know if you do. Um, everyone's going to stop you, want to look at your nails. So it's a lot of fun to wear. So I hope you guys like this. It's so, so easy. Um, yeah, so that is how I got this awesome gold metallic cheetah nail. Okay, so I hope you guys like that tutorial. Let me know if you did. Let me know if you're going to try it out because it's so easy. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for the video. So follow me on Twitter and Facebook. I'm going to link them both down below for you girls. And I'll talk to you girls soon. Bye.